Hi, I'm Travis Maragliata from Team Buffalo Outdoors, and today I'm going to tell you my top five saltwater white meat eating fish. Stay tuned. You are tuned into NJ's Leading Outdoor Channel, where new videos will be posted weekly on hunting, fishing, how to's, recipes, and much more about the outdoors. Please. Click on that red subscribe button right there in the corner and the bell icon right next to it so you won't miss out on new content. Now the fish that we are considering are saltwater fish, they're white meat, white meat fillets, and um, these are what personally what I enjoy. So these are my top five. Uh, you guys can leave a comment. I would love to hear your opinions. Number five. Trigger fish. Now the trigger fish, they're a very colorful fish. They're actually a very aggressive fish. They're known to attack divers. Um, they could be found in New Jersey in mid to late August, uh, down South Jersey uh, in the, uh, well, I'm not gonna burn any spots. <laughs> but um, they're a wonderfully in fish. They taste like chicken. You know, they're very thick, um, they're, they almost look like a football, so uh, they're they're really good. Um, personally, one of my favorite is the trigger fish. Now that number five was the trigger fish, we're gonna move on to number four. Number four, some of you guys are gonna think that this is too high on the list. It's going to be fluke, also known as summer flounder, and the fluke is nice white meat. Uh, they're a flat fish. Um, they're also another uh, very aggressive uh, bottom feeding fish. Um, you get them with jig tails, uh, fluke belly, squid, uh, spearing. Um, very popular now is, is the gulp. Uh, it used to be the chartreuse gulp. Gulp. Uh, <laughs> gulp, gulp. Um, but uh, you got the, the orange, the salmon colored. Uh, gulp was very hot last year and I heard now this year is going to be the pink but fluke season doesn't open up till uh, the end of the month so May 22nd so fluke's very good eating but uh, there's three fish that are better so let's move on to number three now for my number three saltwater white meat fish to eat Yummy in my tummy. It's going to be, this actually used to be number two on my list. Blackfish, also known as Tatag. And these these fish, they have uh, hu like human sized teeth. They're, they're like, they're huge. Um, you catch them in, in the cold weather months, November, December, uh, January. And they're another wrecked bottom feeding fish. You can also get them in cricks. Let's keep them, let's keep those spots on the DL because again, shh, no spot burning. But uh, blackfish is, is just a wonderful white meat. It's thick, it's juicy, um, it has a little bit of a distinct taste to it. And uh, a lot of people compare it to, um, and this is a nickname that a lot of people give it, is uh, poor man's lobster. It has like a, a lobster taste to it. Um, personally, I love it. Uh, Good cuisine. I remember when I caught a couple in a creek um, about like a decade ago. Um, I went home and one of them I made, uh, I, I had it whole. Now we're only considering white meat fillets for this list, but uh, it was outstanding. Now the blackfish, uh, to catch them, we usually use uh, green little green fiddler crabs. Um, I crack them open a little bit and then we put them down. And um, man, they're a heck of a fight, I'll tell you that much. Um, they're, they're a little bit of a trick. Um, sometimes if you don't do it right, uh, they'll take you right down to the rocks and they'll, they'll snap your line. Um, if you hook them too quick, uh, they'll, shh, done. So it's, you gotta time it just right, just let it, bang. And then you gotta real quick. Those are one of the fish where you have to real quick, you can't let them take them out. Because if you're gonna take them out, right to those rocks, Nice snag for you. You don't want a snag. Uh, we don't want to lose line here. So, now to number two, 
white meat, salt water fish that I personally love to eat is, uh, this is actually President John's favorite. We're gonna go blowfish. The northern puffer kind, not the poisonous kind. Um, the blowfish is very, uh, how did I say? It's like uh, shrimp on a tail. Well, shrimp has a tail. But um, it's, they're, they're just such a cool little fish. And the great thing about them is you, you fill the cooler almost every time you go. And uh, actually right around this time is uh, when we get our, uh, we get them breeders. Those big, big puffers. But um, we have a video. I'm going to post it in the link below in the description on how to fillet a blowfish. There's a very quick and easy method because um, a lot of you guys are probably saying like, "Oh, I got to fillet 50 blowfish. Um, this is going to take forever." Um, no, it's 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 a very quick process. Um, like I said, I'm going to have the link down below. Um, use clam. Use a, a little little chunks of clam, very little pieces. Um, they're also known as the great thieves. <laughs> They like to steal your bait, um, but these we we run a, a high low rig uh, with these little blowfish hooks. Uh, they kind of look like this, and they we have like a red bead on on top. Um, and uh, you feel a little tug, and we've been running a, a chum pot as well um, with some uh, a clam wad, and you you get them up. Sometimes you get two on, two on one one up, so. Uh, <laughs> The blowfish, man, they're they're great, and the thing about them is that the you could cook them in a little in a couple varieties. Um, the last time we did it, we did like a blowfish tempura. Uh, we deep fried them, and they came out fantastic. But you could uh, you make like a garlic lemon butter sauce, um, and then just you just grill them. Uh, they come out great, and uh, they're a little on the bony side, but boy, you know. They're just a great fish. Now let's move on to our number one. One. Fish that I love to eat. And this is by no means. Um, I'm going to give you a little hint. We did a taste test. It's, we did a blindfold taste test in one of our previous videos on this fish. So. Shh. And for you guys who think it was Ling Cod. Well. Hate to break the news, but you're wrong. Black sea bass. Juicy, juicy, juicy white meat. <sighs> My mouth is watering right now. And it was dry like two seconds ago. And that's how good it is. Sea bass, bottom feeding wreck fish, just like fluke, um, just like tatag. Well, fluke ain't a, a, a wreck fish, but they're a bottom feeder. Um, but anyways, uh, the, the sea bass are just great, and sometimes we'll catch little baby ones uh, when we go blow, blow fishing. Um, they're just they're just great. They just they blow every fish out of the water. I compared them with fluke sea bass ones. Uh, I compared them with uh, I compared them with the ling cod sea bass ones. And now you guys are probably wondering, well, where's where's the ling cod on this list? Well, you know. A, there's five fish better. I like trigger fish better, um, fluke, tatag, and blowfish, and of course sea bass because sea bass won that taste test. Um, another fish is, uh, other fishes that were in consideration were uh, porgies. I really love this fish. This fish is the red snapper. Uh, striped bass I feel is okay. It's it's a little on the flaky side. Um, it's, it's it's good, but it's 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 not there. It's not top five worthy. We also considered my my as another fish. Um, I never tasted Jack Creval, uh, and this is white meat only. So tuna um, is is out. Yellow fin, blue fin, uh, especially false albacore. Walter. So let's review the top five fish. Number five, trigger fish. Number four, fluke. Number three, tatag, also known as a blackfish. Number two, the northern puffer blowfish. And the top saltwater white meat fish to eat, fillet wise, is the black sea bass. As always, my name is Travis Maragliata from Team Buffalo Outdoors. Keep it locked in on our channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, 
and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care.